check this out, y'all. Michael Jackson. Would you believe from my observation that Michael Jackson literally copied hip hop and kept hip hop alive? But if you were not around or if you don't have information or insights about hip hop, you would have never known that. But I'm going to break it down. If you look at the early hip hop artists, right? They had a what? Gloves on. Some had two, some had one, right? They had certain um, outfits on, right? Shiny outfits, you know, like very distinguished outfits, outfits that stood out. And a lot of the dances that they were doing, Michael Jackson emulated those dances and kept doing those dances all the way up until he died. So, there you go. Michael Jackson kept hip-hop alive, number one. He copied hip hop as far as the dress, the moves, the glove, various different things came from hip hop. He also used other aspects of dance as well, but hip hop was the most prominent. All you got to do is watch old hip hop artists when they perform, the outfits, the gloves, so on and so forth, and then the dance as well, and then look at Michael Jackson throughout his career, how he started the middle, and how he ended pertaining to his dancing style and all of that. Hip-hop, baby. And Michael Jackson was a genius because he knew what he was doing. That's right. He was not only the king of pop, but he was also the king of hip-hop as far as keeping hip-hop alive. Literally. Because he became so famous. You get it? And, that, and, and, and by him becoming famous, famous, famous all over the world, every little kid wanted to dance like Michael. But when you trace back a lot of the dances that Michael did, it was hip hop. He got moves from James Brown. He got moves from various different places. But his main um, genre um, of dancing was, and his dress was hip hop. That's right. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip-hop, that's right.